Hi again, Doug here from X-Frames FPV, and today we've got the wrap-up video on the Martian to Kebab transplant. Man, that almost sounds like a movie, doesn't it? But if we, if you saw video one in this two-part series, we talked about moving the components, some of the components over from the Martian 2 that had crashed and broken over into this Kebab. And so that's what we've done, and so it's completed, and I've spent some time flying it, and so I thought I'd give you my final thoughts and also kind of re-hit on what we did. So some of the components that we changed um, in the crash, one of the motors was bad. One of them was kind of noisy, so we decided, okay, let's just let's just get rid of the motors and let's move over to... Um, some different motors. So we went with the ZMX. Well, these are Hyperlite rebranded, but they're basically the ZMX V2s, which the V3s are 2206s and the V2s are 2205s. Um, this we chose uh, the 2600 kV for power. Um, you know, they are a little bit hungry and not quite as efficient as the 20. 350s or the 2300s but um they have a lot of power and sometimes that's just fun to to have so uh, as far as escs well these are the ones that i'm using right now on a lot of my builds because i like them a lot these are the new spidex es20s now these are the bl heli s escs and um, they're not as readily available right now um, they're a fairly new esc but um I've got them on quite a few builds, including some of my own personal flyers. Um, Serge over at Pyro Drone gave them to a bunch of guys and said, hey, put these through the paces, you know, hammer on them, and, and they've just been working flawlessly. So um, I expect these to be a very popular ESC because of how tiny they are. This is a These are pretty small arms, and you can see how small this ESC is. Um, the things that we kept on there, well, the camera is the same. So let me get the camera here. Let me zoom in a little bit and let's see if we can get her to focus. Yeah, I think that's a much better way to do it. Okay. Um, so the camera is a Foxier 1200 TVL camera, uh, 16 by nine, low latency, um, this gentleman has the V3 goggles, so that camera works really well for V3 goggles because it is a 16 by 9 aspect ratio. Um, we were able to keep the VTX, which is a Pyrodrone 200 milliwatt VTX, and that's a really good workhorse. Um, as far as PDB, let's, let's zoom in even further here. As far as PDB, we went with the Hub OSD. Now, the Hub OSD is, um, well, the name kind of tells it. It's a PDB with built-in OSD, and it's a great, great board. Although, I'm probably going to be moving away from those, and, and if somebody wants OSD, I'm going to probably put an Aero camera, which is Fox Ears camera with built-in OSD, and I've got a review coming up on that. And that's a fantastic camera. Just a little bit of a spoiler alert there. Um, as far as the flight controller, we were able to keep the flight controller. Okay, so this is the Lumineer Lux. And we've talked about the Lumineer being a little bit noisy. You know, it's got the 6500 gyro on there. And that's a it's noisy. And, and it's what that means is it's real susceptible to vibrations and any kind of vibration that it that it gets is going to go right into the you know oscillations and just some characteristics even desync and different things so um what i've done now in the past i've i on some builds you can put a nice piece of neoprene underneath it and just really lightly tighten down the nuts and it works well well that doesn't work too well on this build because as you can see this the you have these big m3 by 12 uh screws going through and and everything goes straight through the pdb and all the way through the top and that's your standoffs and so what i've done is i have i've put a plastic nut let me see if you can let's see if i can get in there 
Yeah, put a plastic nut right on top of the PDB, and then I put two separate. See that two separate dampening pads, and then the standoffs, and then I I added some. I'm sorry, guys, for the bumpiness. I added some thread lock so that I can leave these a little loose. And you can see it really does add some dampening. If I push down on that, you can see it compressing. Okay, so that's what you want. Otherwise, the the dampening is not doing any good. Or those little pads aren't doing any good. If you compress them down completely, it's not really doing anything. So um, with that, I'm able to get a really smooth flight out of this. Um, as far as the receiver this is the fr sky xsr which works great on these stack builds no it doesn't have the replaceable antenna but um what it gives you is a lot tighter fit okay so um this is a great setup let me pull back out here as far as um, power these 2205 especially in the 2600 kv are plenty plenty strong um and they're super smooth motors. I, I would say ZMX is probably one of my favorite motors out there. Um, and this flies really well. Um, these kebab frames are, <laughs> I hate using the word bulletproof, but that's, I mean, they are so strong. I, I told you guys about my customer in Texas that flies them in his, in his little shop. He's a farmer and he's got big shops, but... He wanted something that he can kind of fly around his little shop. Well, I just sent him a 150 that I built. But before that, he what he did is he put three inch props on his kebab with, or I'm sorry, four inch prop on it, props on his kebab with a 3S and just banged the thing into, to, I think he said <laughs> he's gone through like 10 sets of props on it um, because of banging into stuff, but it just, it doesn't break. So it, this is a really good frame. Now, one thing I want to say too on these motors, I'm almost apprehensive to mention this because these motors are no longer available. Um, the, you used to be able to get these through, I think it's Silver Drone. It was the company that, that would sell these and they're no longer available. So they went from the 2205s, which are the V2s. Now they have the 2206s, which is the V3s, and they've discontinued the 2205s. Well, Surge over at pyrofliprc.com has a limited run of these. So um, basically what he did is is they were had a few more that they were gonna that they were gonna build and then that was gonna be it. And he bought them all. And they all have the Hyperlite name on them, which is, is um, as you can see here, that's what these have. And so right now you can get these um, at Surge's shop. And I'm not going to say the price, but I can tell you right now the price is m just amazing. Well, I think they're like $13, which is they're normally $22 or $21 uh, motor. So if you guys need a motor, you know, and you're kind of looking at, so that's kind of right in that part. Well, it's less than anything out there that's even decent. It's even a little less than the RCX motors, which are kind of good workhorses. Um, but if you're looking at a DYS SE2205 or an Emax red bottom motor, um, well, you can get these, um, buy them <laughs> because these are Probably one of the best, if not the best, 2205 on the market. And they're super cheap right now at pyrofliprc.com. And they'll, once they're gone, they're gone for good. And, um, you know, I didn't, I'm, Surge didn't pay me to do this. Surge didn't give me these motors. I paid for these out of my own pocket. And I just wanted to, you know, I always like to pass on these little deals as I find them to my, subscribers because hey we all have bills we got to pay and anytime we can save some money it's worth doing so go over to pyrofliprc.com buy you some of these motors as many as you can afford i bought a bunch of them because they're just it's a rare opportunity so um he's also the one that actually happens this is, sounds like a uh commercial here for pyroflip but he's also the one that happens to sell this kebab frame 
And um, if you're looking for a Truex style frame that's just really, really durable, this is a great one for you. So guys, this video went a little bit long, but there's quite a few little things I wanted to hit on. Um, I hope you guys are getting something out of them. Please check out my website, xframesfpv.com. You can check out my builds and kind of pricing and all that stuff that I don't like to go into too much. But if there's stuff that I miss, throw it in the comment section and I'll, I can, you know, comment on it and um, we'll just kind of go from there. So I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I hope you get some time to fly.